Hey guys, Mitch here. Today at WWDC 2013, Apple released their next generation software, iOS 7. Now iOS 7 brought to the table a whole new design with tons of new features, including control centers, their notification centers, multitasking, iTunes radio, and so much more. Now in this video demo, I will be showing off some of iOS 7 features to you running on my iPod Touch 5th generation. And I know I will be missing some mainly because iOS 7 is just jam-packed with so many features, but I will be going over some of the main features that Apple has incorporated in their next generation software of iOS 7. So without any further ado, stay tuned for these features. First off, iOS 7 has a sense of dimension, and as you tilt your device, your background and all the applications will kind of get that 3D look for when you are tilting your device. Apple's control center has been ramped up that allows you to have access to quick toggles of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth mode, airplane allowing you to toggle them on or off. You also have access to your brightness, your media toggles, and three quick applications at the bottom. Now, in addition to that, we also have the, the new notification center, which can be accessed by a swipe down when you are on the home screen. And this also works, yes, in the lock screen. So no jailbreak is required. You can have access to your notification center in the lock screen. It allows you to see what your day is like and see what you've missed of all your notifications in one quick and efficient place. Multitasking has changed on iOS, allowing you to see previews of your applications that are running on the background. You can swipe over to the left and right. And if you want to delete one from your multitasking tray, just swipe up and it will be deleted from your tray. You can easily tap on a image of the preview to go into that application, or you can swipe over all the way to the left to take you directly back to your home screen. Let's next take a look at the new mail application. So like normally within iOS, you can add text, or if you hold down, you can add different videos or images by browsing to your camera roll on your device. But with the new mail application, it takes advantage of the full screen images or videos. So really gets nice crystal clear images of a preview that you can send out to any of your mail recipients. Let's next take a look at Safari. So within Safari here you can see we have a nice new user interface with the URL located at the center and as you browse throughout the site you'll notice that the top title the URL will compress and condense toward the center. If you go ahead and do a search you have your Google search related sites along with top hits and also quick access to bookmarks in a nice preview uh, mode as well. And as you browse, you'll notice that that title will condense. Now, in addition to that, we also have our options that gives our social media networks, along with bookmarking the page, adding it to our home screen, copying it. But then we also have these nice new tab view, which allows us to tab throughout our different tabs on our Safari browser. And more than eight or nine pages is now supported in iOS 7 Safari. Within iOS 7, there is a new iTunes radio which allows you to edit and create radio stations directly on your device so that you can listen to. So by just adding a new station by clicking that plus button, you have the option to search a different genre of music, a song, or an artist. And for this uh, video, I'll just go ahead and click on hip hop. It gives you sub um, topics of different hip hop artists. So if I just hit on the hip hop radio, select the little add button on the side, that radio station will be added to one of my favorite stations that I can easily click on them to listen to the different radio stations that I have already created. You can see the nice new interface of the media toggles located at the bottom. So like always, we have our playlists, we have our artists, we have our songs, and you can easily select one of those to play the song it gives you an itunes artwork at the top along with your media controls at the bottom and you can also create a new station from this current song that you are listening to as well messaging on ios has also taken a change in the user interface like ios 7 you can see our iMessage layout or the text message layout along with a brand new keyboard for ios 7. so once you have typed out your message you can go ahead and click send you can go back out to read all your different conversations with all your different recipients. Uh, you can hold a different conversation with the nice light blue text as yours, and then that nice light gray text as their text messages or iMessages will come in to your iOS device. 
The calendar has also been changed within iOS 7, allowing you to see a nice day-to-day -day basis. Or if you want to go back, you can change out to a monthly basis, giving you a nice calendar, adding in what you have to do for each individual day, swiping down throughout the different months. Or you can even go all the way back out to a yearly basis to see nice year updates as well. Now within the Photos application here, everything is based on where and when you took your photos and what location. So you can go back out to the years where you actually took your photos. You can edit the photos on the fly and airdrop them to different iOS devices via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. You have options at the bottom of social media networks or just saving them to your camera roll and all that good stuff. The camera app has also been changed so you can see the layout and myself as well. So you can swipe over to go to the video format, swipe over to go to the photos, or swipe over to go to the square look. And you can also add different visual effects right on the go as they will be previewed live by just clicking that button and you can see them right there. The weather application has also taken a change using the Yahoo layout and the Yahoo stats. So you have your hourly updates and then underneath that you also have your day-to-day -day updates. And depending on how the city conditions are, you will get live background previews of whether it's sunny, it's raining, thunderstorming, anything like that within your world clock. You have your alarms, you have your stopwatches, you also have your timers, all taking a nice user interface change. In addition to that, we also have our iOS 7 maps. Now this carries on from iOS 6, so you can start your destination, get real-time directions. Settings, within the settings you can see the new layouts and the colors, the new text font and how they are broken up in those different categories. Siri has also taken a new user interface but is better engineered to listen to more complex questions so asking it whether to turn on or off your Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi mode or increasing or decreasing your brightness can be done. You also have your basic questions such as asking what time it is or whether or not it's going to rain for the next few days and it will get you those live weather conditions. In addition, when you have your applications within folders, you can store as many applications as you want within those folders. You also have your game center which allows you to play with your friends and multiple iOS devices as well. Now when you do receive a call or a FaceTime call, you are prompted with some new messages whether you want to decline, answer, remind me later, or respond with a text message. So if I respond with a text message, um, you can see the different prompts there, and I'll say I'll call you later, and then it will queue up a text message here and send it out to the recipient saying that I will call them later because I'm unable to answer the call. So guys, iOS 7 is jam-packed with tons of features that can only be accessed on the support of devices. I try to cover mainly all the important facts and details of iOS 7, but if I did miss any, make sure you leave them down in the comment section below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more iOS 7 videos in the future. Thanks guys. Two videos you might have missed. The right one is how to get iOS 7 beta by registering your UDID from UDIDregistrations.com in order to install iOS 7 beta. And the left one is the iOS 7 beta download links, which will give you all the links to all the supportive devices on my website.